A TAF is a report established for the five statute mile radius around an airport. TAF reports are usually given for larger airports. Each TAF is valid for a 30-hour time period and is updated four times a day at 0000 Zulu, 0600 Zulu, 1200 Zulu, and 1800 Zulu. The TAF utilizes the same descriptors and abbreviations as used in the METAR report. The TAF indicates the following information in sequential order. 1. Type of report, TAF. A TAF can be either a routine forecast, TAF, or an amended forecast, TAF AMD. 2. ICAO Station Identifier, KPIR. Same identifiers as a METAR report. 3. Date and time, 11, 11.30 Zulu. Date is the first two numbers, followed by the time being the last four numbers given in Zulu time. 4. Valid period, date and time, 11, 12, 12. The valid forecast time period is given by a six-digit number group. The first two numbers indicate the date, followed by the two-digit beginning time for the valid period, and the last two digits are the ending time. 5. Forecast wind, 15012KT. The wind direction and speed forecast are given in a five-digit number group. The first three indicate the direction of the wind in reference to true north. The last two digits state the wind speed in knots, as denoted by the letters KT. 6. Forecast visibility, P6SM, given in statute miles, and may be in whole numbers or fractions. If the forecast is greater than 6 miles, it will be coded as P6SM. 7. Forecast significant weather. Weather phenomena are coded in the TAF reports in the same format as the METAR. If no significant weather is expected during the forecast time period, the denotation NSW is included in the becoming or temporary weather groups. 8. Forecast sky condition, given in the same manner as the METAR. Only cumulonimbus, CB clouds are forecast in this portion of the TAF report as opposed to CBs and towering cumulus in the METAR. 9. Forecast change group. For any significant weather change forecast to occur during the TAF time period, the expected conditions and time period are included in this group. This information may be shown as from FM, becoming BECMG, and temporary. Tempo. FM is used when a rapid and significant change, usually within an hour, is expected. Becoming is used when a gradual change in the weather is expected over a period of no more than two hours. Tempo is used for temporary fluctuations of weather expected to last less than one hour. 10. Probability forecast. A given percentage that describes the probability of thunderstorms and precipitation occurring in the coming hours. This forecast is not used for the first six hours of the 24-hour forecast. The FA gives a picture of clouds, general weather conditions, and visual meteorological conditions, VMC, expected over a large area encompassing several states. There are six areas for which area forecasts are published in the contiguous 48 states. Area forecasts are issued three times a day and are valid for 18 hours. Area forecasts are typically disseminated in four sections and include the following information. 1. Header, DFWC FA 120945, gives the location identifier of the source of the FA, the date and time of issuance, the valid forecast time, and the area of coverage. 2. Precautionary Statements. IFR conditions, mountain obscurations, and thunderstorm hazards are described in this section. Statements made here regarding height are given in MSL, and if given otherwise, AGL or ceiling CIG will be noted. 3. Synopsis gives a brief summary identifying the location and movement of pressure systems, fronts, and circulation patterns. 4. VFR Clouds and Weather. This section lists expected sky conditions, visibility, and weather for the next 12 hours, and an outlook for the following six hours.
In-flight weather advisories, which are provided to en-route aircraft, are forecasts that detail potentially hazardous weather. An in-flight weather advisory is issued in the form of either an AirMet, SIGMET, or convective SIGMET. AirMets, WAs, are examples of in-flight weather advisories that are issued every six hours with intermediate updates issued as needed for a particular area forecast region. The information contained in an AirMet is of operational interest to all aircraft, but the weather section concerns phenomena considered potentially hazardous to light aircraft and aircraft with limited operational capabilities. An AirMet includes forecast of moderate icing, moderate turbulence, sustained surface winds of 30 knots or greater, widespread areas of ceilings less than 1,000 feet and or visibilities less than 3 miles, and extensive mountain obscurement. Each AirMet bulletin has a fixed alphanumeric designator numbered sequentially for easy identification, beginning with the first issuance of the day. Sierra is the AirMet code used to denote IFR and mountain obscuration. Tango is used to denote turbulence, strong surface winds, and low-level wind shear, and Zulu is used to denote icing and freezing levels. SIGMETs, WSs, are in-flight advisories concerning non-convective weather that is potentially hazardous to all aircraft. They report weather forecasts that include severe icing not associated with thunderstorms, severe or extreme turbulence or clearer turbulence, CAT, not associated with thunderstorms, dust storms or sandstorms that lower surface or in-flight visibilities to below three miles, and volcanic ash. SIGMETs are unscheduled forecasts that are valid for four hours. A SIGMET is issued under an alphabetic identifier from November through Yankee, excluding Sierra and Tango. The first issuance of a SIGMET is designated as an Urgent Weather SIGMET, UWS. Reissued SIGMETs for the same weather phenomenon are sequentially numbered until the weather phenomenon ends. A convective SIGMET, WST, is an in-flight weather advisory issued for hazardous convective weather that affects the safety of every flight. Convective SIGMETs are issued for severe thunderstorms with surface winds greater than 50 knots, hail at the surface greater than or equal to 3 quarters inch in diameter, or tornadoes. They are also issued to advise pilots of embedded thunderstorms, lines of thunderstorms, or thunderstorms with heavy or greater precipitation that affect 40% or more of a 3,000 square foot or greater region. Convective SIGMETs are issued for each area of the contiguous 48 states, but not Alaska or Hawaii. Convective SIGMETs are issued for the Eastern, E, Western, W, and Central, C, United States. Each report is issued at 55 minutes past the hour, but special reports can be issued during the interim for any reason. Each forecast is valid for two hours. They are numbered sequentially each day from 1 to 99, beginning at 00Z time. If no hazardous weather exists, the convective SIGMET is still issued, however it states convective SIGMET none. Winds and Temperatures Aloft Forecasts, FD, provide wind and temperature forecasts for specific locations in the contiguous United States, including network locations in Hawaii and Alaska. The forecasts are made twice a day based on the Radiosonde upper air observations taken at 0000 Zulu and 1200 Zulu. Wind direction is always in reference to true north and wind speed is given in knots. The temperature is given in degrees Celsius. No winds are forecast when a given level is within 1500 feet of the station elevation. Similarly, Temperatures are not forecast for any station within 2,500 feet of the station elevation. If the wind speed is forecast to be greater than 100 knots, but less than 199 knots, the computer adds 50 to the direction and subtracts 100 from the speed. If the wind speed is forecast to be 200 knots or greater, the wind group is coded as 99 knots. When the forecast wind speed is calm or less than 5 knots, the data group is coded 9900, which means light and variable. We hope you learned a lot. 
please help us spread the word about Pilot Training System, and we look forward to further servicing your flight training needs.